hello everyone today we are going to see what is medical devices and medical device classification uh, we'll be looking for the classification based on the region based on the uh, US region uh, according to the uh, FDA classification of the medical devices so what is medical device uh, medical device is a device which is used for diagnosis treatment or prevention of disease or any other conditions in man or animals uh, or it can be a device which is intended to affect the structure or any function of the body of man or animals. Uh, FTA recognizes three classes of medical devices uh, based on the level of control necessary to assure safety and effectiveness of the device uh, or based on the risk involved when it is used in the patient. Uh, FTA established classification of around nearly the 1700 different medical devices based on the intended use and risk involved uh, as the risk increases the level of regulatory control also increases so there are three different classification of medical devices that those are class 1 class 2 and class 3 devices uh, class 1 devices are low risk devices class 2 devices are medium risk when it is used in the patient and class 3 are high risk devices out of 1700 classification and nearly 47 percentage of medical devices falls under class 1 and 44 percentage of medical devices are under class 2 and uh, remaining 9 percentage of medical devices are class 3 devices and uh, class 1 devices require general regula regulatory control and class 2 devices require uh, general plus special regulatory control and class 3 devices require general plus special regulatory control as well as pre-market approval. A special regulatory control uh, uh, required special labeling requirements, uh, mandatory performance standards and post-market surveillance. Uh, the pre-market approval uh, is the FDA process of scientific and regulatory review to evaluate the safety and effectiveness of the class 3 medical devices. There are certain parameters considered before classifying a medical device uh, uh, by FDA, so a few of them I highlighted here. Uh, the first one is the duration. Duration uh, is the length of time the device is used in the patient. Uh, the second is the invasiveness, if the device is surgically invasive or not. Uh, third is the device is active or surgically implantable. Uh, there is uh, again two types of uh, medical devices are active and uh, non-active devices. The active devices are required po external power to operate. Uh, and the fourth one is the device uh, which contain medical medicinal substances. And the last one in the again the risk involved when it is used in the patient. So these are uh, some of the uh, m major parameters considered before classifying a uh, medical devices. Uh, again, most of the class 1 devices are uh, exempt from the pre-market notification. Uh, pre-market notification or uh, fight and k clearance is a pre-market submission made to FDA to demonstrate that the device is safe and effective uh, or equivalent or better than an existing legally marketed device. Uh, uh, the, and again the class 2 devices the most of the class 2 devices uh, required uh, pre-market notification uh, and the most of the class 3 devices required uh, pre-market approval uh, now we'll see a few of the examples for the class 1 class 2 and class 3 medical devices uh, so for the class 1 uh, examples are the telescope the bandaid the syringe glasses and sunglasses or the uh, examples for class 1 devices uh, the, uh, for the class 2 devices the wheelchair uh, the x-ray machines the dental implants and catheters are false under class 2 uh, and the most critical devices or implantable devices uh, false under class 3 few of the examples are uh, hard walls pacemakers hip, hip and bone joints so these are some of the important things to know about the classification. Uh, 
uh, for your reference I have uh, prepared a document where you can see uh, everything we discussed here you can see a definition of medical device the classification of medical device and how it is classified and the parameters considered for the classification and also the definition of pre-market notification pre-market approval and post-market surveillance uh, also there are, there are the examples which we discussed you can see in the next page this document is made available to you and you'll be able to download by the link provided in the comment section of this video uh, so hope that will be helpful uh, thanks for watching uh, please comment and stay tuned uh, we'll see you with uh, some other topic in a different day thank you